Hello guys, James Griffin Runner and Productions today. We are taking a look at the difference between a fake 3DS XL battery and the stock one that's way better. I got this battery off eBay and it says it's got 2500 milliamps right there and it's 3.7 volts like the stock one. But that is a lie. It is not even close to 2500 milliamps because the stock one's 1750 milliamps. And the stock one lasts way longer than the fake. The fake probably has half of the stock one. This thing was about $7 on eBay and it's fake as you can see. It just says 3 dot D dot in the center. I don't know what that's called. But um this is the stock one. See it says has the Nintendo logo and it says stuff in Japanese. It's fully this is the fully stock one as you can see. I took both of them out of my 3DS. I have the cover off, of course. And let's put it in. The fake one went. The I I got the blinking red light within like two hours of gameplay, from a full charge. Boot it up here. Yeah, I'll have to set my time and date and everything. Because the settings are stored on a real time clock. See, it says 1 1 Saturday. It's not Saturday. It's not 1 1 2011, so you gotta go to other settings. But that just shows you the batteries are fake. This one's still got a full charge because it was fully charged when I took it out and put, the f put this cheap fake thing in. This thing is fine for a spare. If, like, if you the want to use it as a spare to the stock one, say the stock one quits holding a charge, you could use this fake, I guess. But this fake is just a pile of shit. I could just throw this thing in the fire and it would blow up, and I wouldn't give a shit. That's how cheap these pieces of crap are. Thanks for watching.